Hello friends and welcome to Carburetor, the vlog related to specific tips and tricks about cars and their electronics and about some super mysterious car manufacturer decisions. Today I have a super helpful information for you that I get asked every day. So the topic for today is reading and writing tri-core computer with tuning protection. The system is Bosch EDC 17 CP14. It will be very interesting, so don't go anywhere. So, the Bosch EDC 17 is a relatively new generation of computers. In different brands, it is coming in uh, at different times. For manufacturers such as Audi, this has been the case since about 2008, 2009. In others, much later, for example, around 2011. Today, I have selected an Audi A3 computer to read in front of you and to explain step by step how everything is done. As we said, the computer is a tri-core Bosch EDC 17 CP14. We start with the tools list and equipment. We have a laptop with Galeto software installed and we will be back to it shortly for more details. Hot air gun and different flat head screwdrivers, smaller and bigger. Lastly, a Torx 15 screwdriver for the computer bolts. The characteristic of these computers is the following. They are protected for reading and writing purposes. And when you try to read them through the OBD port, you will fail or even worse, you will damage the computer and the car will never start again. This is why we use the only secure method called boot mode. To do this, you have to open the computer and put boot pin inside. But to open it, first we have to unscrew the bolts. Then we have to warm it up a lot because otherwise it is very difficult to open. After unscrewing the bolts, we take the hot air gun and start to heat. From time to time, we touch the middle of the computer gently and quickly. We must be able to feel the heat so strong so that it's almost not possible to touch it. Then we are okay. We begin to use screwdrivers, taking great care not to enter deeply because we can damage some element of the circuit board. After we peel off half of the lid, we heat up again because most of the computer is aluminium and it cools down very quickly. Then we continue with the screwdrivers until we open the lid. The next step is to determine exactly what our Infineon processor model is. As you can see, it says TC1796. This is important because the software will ask us. The other important thing is that we see many blank spots above the processor. This means that this computer has no external flash memory and all the maps and software are in the internal memory of the processor. The next step is to open FG Tech manual and we will call it Galeto instead of FG Tech for simplicity reasons. We can see that the EDC 17 CP14 is on pages 17 and 18. According to the manual, we have to connect the tricore cable while providing power supply 12 volt and ground, CAN high and CAN low cables too, and two more wires that are used to wake up the processor. After we've connected everything, we should find a boot pin, which is super important task. It is the most essential part to get into a boot mode. We connect the needle cable to the tiniest cable of the Galeto wiring. Then we power up the device and start the software. Selecting Tool Boot, then Tools Boot Mode, then Infineon Tricore as TC1796. Click OK, then Connect. The device tells us to switch the ignition off, then tells us to switch the ignition on. After a short wait, we have a connection and we see that the processor is protected. That is the tuning protection that we had mentioned earlier. We press read all and we give the file a name. The Galeto will automatically save both the processor and the EEPROM files. We follow the instructions from turn on and turn off the ignition and reading process starts. I will speed up the video so that you don't need to wait unnecessary. This was the reading process, ladies and gentlemen. Then 
you have to purchase a chip tuning file or file for DPF, EGR or other deactivation that you might need. In our case, we were asked to do software to eliminate the swirl flap. The modified file must be saved back. Remember, the original file was a number one priority because the tuners need exactly this file, the original from the car, rather than a ready file from a database. Otherwise, you may end up with a fried computer. This is the only proper method to read exactly your file. Let's continue by selecting the modified file for writing back. And now the second very important point follows. Galeto Flasher needs to calculate the file's checksum and fix it during the writing process. Have in mind that this is a difficult calculation. And if you see this wait data processing message, please do nothing. Sometimes it takes up to 15 minutes. Just wait and counting. After a certain time, the tool will ask again to give and remove power or ignition and then writing process starts. Towards the end, the progress bar will go back and forth, but don't worry, this is a normal situation. Again, to correct the checksum. Finally, you have a request to cut the power off again. And after around five seconds, power on and you're done. I want to quickly remind you that if you need files for DPF, EGR, AdBlue deactivations or chip tuning files, I can help you with that. My contact details are in the description of this video. I told you that I will get back to the flasher. Well, I will begin by saying that I don't recommend to use the of clone devices because they are not at the level of the originals and often reading and writing process may fail. But now I will tell you why I use a clone device. First, there is no annual subscription, which is about 800 euro. Second reason, the price. Price of one Galetto is 4000 euro. That is, let's say, two, three Italian month salaries. Sort of. In my country, two salaries are 600, 800 euro. So for me, the price should be 800, 1000 euro, to be fair. Unfortunately, the producers do not think that way then why I should think like them? Third, if the China clone can be made for 80 US dollars, why not original to be 500, 600 dollars, let's say? Then nobody will buy clone devices, right? I think that way, if there are clone devices on the market, the reason is only one, the price of the product is not right. If I am the producer of Galeto, I would like to sell 500,000 pieces of 1,000 euro each that are 5 million euros, instead of 500 pieces by 4,000 euro each that are 2 million euros. Before I wrap up this video, I want to say that original FG Tech or Galeto flasher is one of the best flashers on the market because it's one tool that fits all. This means that uh, with this tool, you have OBD, BDM, bench mode, boot mode, and you have cars, tractors, trucks, motorcycles, marines, uh, machinery included. That's why it's a great tool. And if you can afford it and fits properly in the area where you're living, go ahead. Okay, friends, I hope this episode of Carburetor was useful to you. If so, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel. From me, Nico, bye for now, and I'll see you in the next episode.